Earlier this spring, local high school students from Naperville and Bennett Academy headed down to Texas to compete in two different international robotics competitions. The 2024 For Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology Championship was held in Houston from April 17th through the 20th. Husky Robotics, a group comprised of more than 120 students from Naperville North and Central, teamed up to create a robot for the international competition. It's a lot of work. We like to consider ourselves like a mid-sized engineering company, so we really pride ourselves on our organization, things like that, how we essentially manage our entire team. All 600 teams involved in the first championship were tasked with creating a robot to play a game against the others. The competition's game was revealed nine weeks ago, and Husky Robotics worked to create their best machine over two months. The robot takes these foam, uh, we can call them hoops, um, off the ground, they're called notes, and basically it takes them, collects them, and shoots them into a goal to score points. There's a lot of strategy, a lot of discussion, a lot of teamwork. At the first championship, Husky Robotics finished 6-3-1 in their group, winning the competition's Johnson division. After winning Johnson, our division, uh, we were able to compete on Einstein, which is basically the biggest field in first, and we basically competed against the other um, eight division winners. It was a really great experience. We unfortunately lost both our matches on Einstein's, but it was just a great experience in general for our team. It was a long road to the division win in Houston, and Husky Robotics received some help along the way from their teacher leader, Joffrey Schmidt, and several Naperville area professionals. We try to provide guidance try to keep them safe, um, but they're the ones ultimately that decide how to put something like this together. A bit over 200 miles south in Dallas, Bennett Academy's robotics team took part in the 2024 VEX World Championship from April 25th to May 3rd. Bennett students created a robot to compete in Over Under, a soccer-like game that involves moving green tri balls into the opposition's goal and side. Unlike the first championship, this competition took a full school year of planning and preliminary competitions. We really got going really at the beginning of the school year in August, September, started to build and design and plan. And really you start competing in October, November, December to try and figure out how your robot is working and to make improvements. The high school like championships come around in March. So you really have a short amount of time to compete and get better. If you get out of the IHSA or like state championships, then you move on to the VEX World Championships. Bennett's 20 person robotics team is split into four different factions. The group that headed down to Texas included senior Carter Ross. Over the school year, the team shuffled through a few design options, but eventually Ross's group landed on a bowling strategy for their robot Copernicus. What I mainly did was using, using this controller here, I would program like say this button, for example, would lower a wing, which you can use the pneumatics for here. So it goes up and down. And then we have another button, which will raise the lift here which there's a bar on the field that it will need to climb onto at the end of a game for extra points. At the VEX World Championship, Bennett's team finished around 320th place, landing them in the top third of competitors. Bennett Academy freshman Joseph Jenkot De La Rosa joined the robotics team right when he arrived in high school and enjoyed seeing the wide spectrum of designs and strategies at the competition. You get to see the different perspectives that people take, even if a lot of the robots and the lot, a lot of the like theories on how to play the game were very similar, how people took those approaches and took them to their max potential was really intriguing. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Will Payne.